public archaeology class is a service learning class that involves three components. There's a traditional seminar where students do readings and learn about archaeology, Chinese American history, urban heritage, and current immigration issues. And then there are two service learning components. Students here at Stanford work in the laboratory to learn about the history of Chinese American communities through working with artifacts from the Market Street, Market Street Chinatown collection. And then, as a group, as a class, we host public archaeology days in the community to share that history. So my name is Megan Kane, and I'm the Collections Manager for the Market Street Chinatown Archaeology Project. Okay. I'm a former Stanford student, and I've been working with the collection since I was a student in 2007, and I was hired on with the project in 2010. So the first part of human rights in archaeology is the question of whose history is remembered and whose history is forgotten. Erasing someone's history is a way to disenfranchise people in the present. One of the other things that we're trying to do with our work on the collection is separate myth from fact. We think of ourselves almost as historical mythbusters. There are a lot of stereotypes of immigrants, including Chinese immigrants during the 19th century. We can use archaeology to actually assess whether some of those stereotypes, stereotypes had any basis in fact, or whether they were part of smear campaigns completely made up out of thin air. One of the things I love about teaching this course is that it gets us out of the classroom, into the lab, and into the community. You're going to get hands-on experience working with historic artifacts dating to some of California's earliest, earliest Chinese settlements. I have worked with um, Professor Voss for many years now, and she has not only been an excellent teacher for me, but a wonderful guide, and she is just a fantastic instructor, both in the classroom, but also in the lab. She is so accessible and so engaged with student learning. She's very <laughs> concerned that students are understanding um, the class material, and so she is very hands-on in the learning experience. So the students in the lab are working with artifacts in the Market Street Chinatown collection. This is a collection that was excavated about 20 years ago. It's considered to be the most important collection of overseas Chinese artifacts in the United States. But for various reasons, it was never properly cataloged or inventoried or studied. What the students in the lab are doing is the first stage in scientific analysis of these artifacts. They're taking the objects out of their current packaging where they were wrapped up in plastic and newspaper in the 1980s, carefully assessing their condition, categorizing them according to clean archaeological categories, and rehousing them in clear material. The lab component brings this great moment for students to actually get to handle artifacts. Um, Quite often we learn about these amazing artifacts in, um, in seminar or in class, we read about them in our readings, but to get that moment to handle a soy sauce pot or to handle an artifact itself and realize that this was used by people 150 years ago. What you can see is a pearl is working on the uh, medicine bottles that are in the collection. And then Annie is working on a very interesting stoneware vessel that was actually used as a grater for preparing foods, a fired stoneware ceramic that had rough enough edges on the inside that you could actually rub a yam or daikon or other root vegetable against it to shred it to make certain dishes. So my favorite part about teaching public archaeology is seeing the students get out into the community and seeing the students interact with community members and the general public and bringing the material that we've been talking about all quarter long into um, that moment where they get to become the teachers. Students who are interested in history will get a window on U.S. history that they've probably never seen before. Students who might be interested in archaeology but have never had any direct experience in it will get hands-on opportunities to work with artifacts and interpret the past through artifact analysis. Students interested in education are going to get a lot of opportunities to develop skills communicating history and science and math to grade school kids. And more importantly than that, all the students in the class get experience in all these different areas. So you get a cross-training in this course. It's not just limited to one subject. Archaeologists have to be a little good at almost everything. And that's one of the reasons why I love archaeology so much. I'm never bored. There's always something new to learn. And we're going to be learning a lot together in this class.